finished. Hopefully it's not too loud in here. But I know a lot of people are gonna ask me, why did I do my deadlifts on back day and not on leg day? On leg day, I wanna focus on my squats. And I find that when I start with deadlifts on a leg day, the other leg exercises I have to do, like it's harder for me to warm up. Like to go to the next leg exercise, like I feel like I have to re-warm up my legs. Um, plus I feel it a lot more in my back. I mean, I do use glutes. I'm getting better at the, you know, just performing the movement. But for me, I just like having deadlifts on its own day with back. Cause then it allows me to dead and squat on the same week. Otherwise, I'd have to keep switching out between my leg days. And then on back day, my heavy movement would be like a row. And for me, that's just, it's not as great an exercise as a deadlift is, so that's why I have it on my back day and not on my leg day. I know somebody was gonna ask that. I think a couple people did ask me that, so I was just answering that question. Now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna show y'all my post-workout meal, and then we're gonna talk about today's topic of the video. So I made it home, right, after I went to the grocery store, and. Just fun fact, well, not fun for me, I'm a terrible shopper. Like, every time I go grocery shopping, I'm like, okay, I need two things. I walked out with five. That's not two. <laughs> but that happens to me all the time. I walk in, I'm like, hey, I kind of need that. I kind of need this. I kind of need that. I was very tempted to try that uh, that coffee that John um, was talking about in his last video, but I was like, nah, I don't need that. I have my own coffee at home, or at home, at my office or whatever. I'm good, maybe next time. But anyways, here's my post-workout meal. It's my little secret Chipotle recipe. I'm gonna be dropping this for y'all, okay? I'm gonna drop it because, you know what? Yeah, I know a lot of people like Chipotle and I know it will get hella views and I know y'all will hella appreciate it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna eat this. Then we're gonna talk about the topic. Of the video. What's up all my devil dolls? This is your boy Sean Ali, Strength Course Iron Five Star General. Today's topic of the video, as you can see, what diet is right for you? There's so many different diets out there that a lot of people get confused as to whether, you know, they should go low carb with higher fat. Should they go higher carb, lower to moderate fat? Should they go keto? Should they go uh, eat clean? Should they count their macros? What diet is right for you. This video topic is actually gonna be credited to Proye underscore fit from Instagram. I appreciate you commenting on today's uh, picture and I'm gonna use the comments from this picture as well as from the Facebook page to make videos going forward. So I appreciate you guys when you do leave comments when I ask for video responses. It helps me make videos. It helps you guys get the information that you need. It's helping it. We're helping each other, right? We're helping each other. Okay, so he basically asked me, as you can see in the comment, I'm gonna read it. He wanted to know, so seeing as how everyone is different, how did I find out or discover that low carb dieting works for me and my lifestyle? Um, when there's low carb diets, keto diets, IFYM, like how do you know what's right for you? And he said that he tried keto last year and it worked well for him, but this year he's going low carbs and it's going much slower for him. So what I'm gonna do is address uh, his questions in this order. So I'm gonna address how I found out what was right for me, why keto is going, uh, or why keto goes a little bit quicker than the low carb diet, and I'm gonna address how you can pick what diet is right for you. Let's start off with how I picked uh, what was right for me. So um, this is what my fourth diet now. I've done like a cutting or shedding body fat four times. And um, I just, like, I just know now, you know, I've tried it all. I've eaten clean, I've counted my macros. I even did ketosis for a little bit. And let me tell you, I'm not a keto dude. I'm not, a, I need my carbs or somebody's somebody's life is in danger let's just put it like that it's trial and error just like with anything in this like how do you know what rep scheme and weight to work for you you know are you a high volume guy are you a strength guy are you a you know a combination of the two what works best for you you just have to try different things see what you like see what your body responds to and it's just it's a guessing game really it's just you're making hypothesized guesses um, hypothesize that makes no sense based off of you know what you feel might work for you and if it works cool then your hypothesis is proven correct if it doesn't, back to the drawing board and you try something else. So that's how I pretty much found out what was right for me is I just tried different things, you know? And for me, counting my macros, keeping it majority healthy and, you know, keeping my fats nice and, you know, stable at around 65 grams or so, keeping my protein nice and high and just tapering my carbs off as, you know, I want the weight to come off has worked perfectly for me. It's the best method. As you guys see, I'm weighted just dropping off. I was 222.2 this morning, right? a pound less than yesterday. So that's how I figured out what worked for me. Now, he also said that he did keto last year and now he's doing low carb and he's like, low carb is going a little bit slower for him. Well, 
Think about it like this, when you're doing ketosis, right, you're keeping your carbs very low. I'm talking like 50 grams or less, right? And so because your carbs are so low, your body's gonna retain a lot less water because you know, the more carbs you have in your body, the more water you hold in your body as well since carb molecules attract water, which is why you have things like, you know, you can get super like veiny and stuff like that. But that's a, that's a whole other talk for a whole other video. More carbs is more water in your body. End of story. That's why you're probably seeing a little bit slower progress because your carbs are a bit higher, so you're not gonna lose that absorbent amount of water weight. And when you eliminate pretty much an entire macronutrient, I mean, you're gonna see a little bit quicker results. Keto does work faster for things like fat loss, but you're at higher risk of actually losing muscle. Um, and just keto doesn't work for everybody, like me. I just, it's it's not something I, I like to do things that, you know, I can do for a lifestyle. I don't like to do things in short amount of times where I know that this is not something I can sustain. Like, I can get moderate carbs, moderate fats, and moderate protein and do that the rest of my life. You know, there's no way I'm gonna do ketosis the rest of my life. That's just me personally. I like carbs too much. Big question, how can you choose what's right for you? So I'm gonna give four categories. Now there's so much more, but I'm just gonna give four categories. So it's actually gonna be two separate things. So it's gonna be two and two. So instead of four, it's gonna be two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down uh, low carb with higher fat. I'm gonna break down high carb with lower fat or moderate fat, and then I'm gonna break down IFYM versus eating clean, right? So, how do you know if you work best with, let's say, a low carb diet with higher fats, ketosis? This is good for a lot of people who are bigger, or you have a big frame, you're endomorphic, or you're very overweight, because for you, um, a lot of times your insulin sensitivity is not gonna be where it needs to be. So your body's not gonna process carbs as well as somebody who's leaner. Somebody who's leaner can take in more carbs and that will be fuel as energy. Their body will burn it off as energy and not store it as fat because our insulin sensitivity is a lot better. But if you're somebody who's overweight or you're very endomorphic, you find that it's so easy for you to gain weight, but losing weight is such a pain. You know, you have to go through hell and high water to lose half a pound. You might want to try something like ketosis or a very low carb diet. That way, you know, you can work on your insulin sensitivity and once you shed some of that body fat, you can slowly add carbs into your, you know, into your diet so that way you don't have to low carb it forever because let's be real, we all like waffles. That would be somebody who will maybe want to try something in ketosis or if you're somebody who's really trying to get rapid, rapid fat loss, ketosis is great for that. Um, you might suffer some muscle loss, but if you're trying to burn fat and that's really all you care about, you're not really concerned too much about if you lose a little bit of muscle, whatever, then ketosis is right for you. There's plenty more options, but I'm just trying to keep it simple. Now, how do you know if you're somebody who should go high carb and keep your fats lower or like middle range or whatever? I would say that this works for, I would say majority of people. Like if you're somebody, for instance, I'll say somebody who can diet on high carbs, you find that it's very hard for you to gain weight, like a hard gainer. Like no matter how much you eat, it's just hard for you to put on weight. Putting on a pound takes forever. You eat everything, including junk food, and you're still not gaining weight, even losing weight sometimes. You can probably diet on a high carb diet because it's not gonna be hard for you to lose that weight. Your body naturally is just, you know, you're probably a naturally slender guy. You're probably more ectomorphic. Um, and so you probably can diet on higher carbs, okay? You could, probably can eat 300, 350 grams of carbs and you can stay, you know, relatively lean or even lose weight on that. I've seen it happen. I had a client of mine one time, 400, ca 400 calories, 400 grams of carbs, 400 grams of carbs, and he was losing weight. I was like, you're blessed. You're blessed. I wish I could eat that many carbs and like lose weight. Are you kidding me? But that would be, uh, you know, somebody who would do that. Now there is the middle range where it's like moderate carbs and that's what I like to do. For me, cause I'm not endomorphic, but I'm not ectomorphic. I guess I'm more mesomorphic, like meso endo cause I'm a fat boy at heart and I was a pretty fat kid too. But I don't think I'm like endomorphic. I don't think I could ever get super, super big. I just get fat swole. So for me, a moderate carb with moderate fats and a good high protein, recipe for success, baby. Recipe for success. Now, should you go IFYM 
or should you go eating clean? Now I'm gonna make another video on this to go more into depth, but the truth of the matter is, long story short, personal preference. Some people like having all their food come from, you know, good whole sources, you know, potatoes, strawberries, peaches, um, chicken breasts, lean ground beef, lean turkey, you know, they're, they're trying to get as many good things into their diet. They don't want to fit pop tarts in there. They don't want to fit sugary cereals. They want to keep their diet as whole as possible. And there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you really enjoy, then hey, I have people that I know who follow the channel and they're like, yo, I really, really enjoy eating healthy food. And you're a lucky person because we're not all like that. We don't all aren't cut from the same cloth. A lot of us, you know, like those junkier foods. And so I would say this, if you're somebody who you can keep it under control, as in you can have maybe three cookies and then put the cookies down. Put that cookie down. No! Then you might be somebody who can go towards IFYM. But if you're somebody who you get one little taste of a cookie or a brownie or cake or ice cream and you just go buck wild. Cookie! Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 nom. You don't know how to act and next thing you know you're 10,000 calories in the hole and you're not even doing a 10K challenge. Yeah, you might want to probably keep majority of your foods healthy and just have cheat meals. So that's pretty much, uh, you know, breaking down how I chose what's right for me, why your keto diet uh, went a little bit faster than your low carb diet, and how you can kind of choose what diet works for you. Now, everybody's going to be different, okay? I'm not going to sit here and say this is a cut, like, there's no cookie cutterness for this, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's going to be different. But at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Being Everybody's different. Everybody has a different path to the same goal of success. Don't forget to order, subscribe and share, like and comment, follow my social media. Till next time, all my devil dogs, dismissed. I'm a general, a nigga, I'm a general, salute. I'm a general, a nigga, I'm a general, salute. I'm a general, a nigga, I'm a general, I'm a general, a nigga, I'm a general, salute.